So we're almost uh, done, but before we actually wrap, uh, wrap this up, let me just do a, a, a final announcement today. So I'm, I'm really proud that uh, Productized and Wildcode School are, are taking the initiative and we're announcing today that we are doing a partnership for the creation of our first intensive digital product management course. Um, this course will bring in participants from all over Europe and will have uh, just about six months as duration. It will start in March 2021 and it, it will end in July 2021. Registrations are open from today and um, let me call on our stage the CEO of Wildcode School, Anne Stepanov. Uh, welcome, Anne. Hope you are hearing as well. Yes, hello, I'm right. I, yes, hello. Can you How is hear it? Me? We can, we can hear you fine. So, this is going to be a very quick panel and it's going to be moderated by my colleague Elena. So, I'm going to um, make myself available for any questions and I, I really hope you, you are also available for a couple of questions that uh, Elena has prepared for us. Okay. Thank you. So Welcome, Anna, and welcome again, Andre. Thanks. That's so nice. I will start with you, Anna, first, because, of course, you're the lady. Sure. So what is Wildcode School, and how are you different from other um, coding schools out there? Sure. Thank you for having me here. Uh, so Wildcode School is a tech school that basically teaches uh, technical skills, uh, understood in a larger sense. We... Um, provide um, classes in um, software engineering, in data, in cybersecurity, and now happy to start very soon a course on product management as well. Um, our, um, our way of teaching, I would say, is a bit quite specific. First of all, it's uh, based on learning by doing. So our students mostly study through projects and they end up in the end of their program with a product project portfolio that they can present to the future companies. We also have a blended learning approach, which means that our students learn at the same time within small communities locally, because we have a network of campuses in uh, different places across Europe. And also we have uh, an online community where students can meet with different people from different places. So this is a blended approach that has a part of on-campus presence, events, and, uh, and some teaching, and also online courses on our online platform. And finally, this is also an approach where we teach hard skills, like for example, in the product management course, we we'll do have um, specific workshops on data analysis, on uh, dev coding, and also we teach soft skills that are very important in today tech jobs because basically currently you have tech specialists, but we lack very good tech specialists and very good tech specialists, they, they are those who have also the soft skills. Okay, thank you very much. And why do you think France has been the birthplace for so many of these new ad tech models? Is it in the water? I, I think um, I, I was listening just a few minutes ago to Sabrina saying that governments can help education. And I, I think in France we have a, a very active government that invests a lot in, uh, in, um, in education, in tech, and uh, experimentation in uh, in different educational approaches and i think that's uh, why we do have lots of actually projects um, innovative projects in education and alternative uh, schools and uh, so the competition is actually quite hot and uh, and that's something that uh, also supports us because uh, 
we, we had those funds at the very beginning. Okay, thank you very much. Now, Andre, uh, what is new about this course regarding other product management course offerings? Yeah, it's a great question. So, um, I think that the, the novelty here is that we are uh, doing this partnership with Wild Code School because they have a very successful model to train, uh, you know, people to get into software, to get into um, front end, back end uh, jobs, and also data. And we thought that there was um, there was this opportunity for. Um, a course that would be more than just a post uh, a post grad or just a uh, executive course that usually takes 35 45 hours and if we could make it longer like a six month sprint we could do um, we could train people in a breadth of topics that usually we cannot do in a, in a short format course so we could make data we could put UX you could put design design thinking and um, and a bunch of uh, other other topics uh, around core product management competencies that will also be part of the of the syllabus. And why do you think product management is important in this new digital economy? Yeah, well, we just had a conference uh, about it, and we covered ad tech, we covered uh, COVID nineteen, we covered um, you know. Um, Lots of lots of aspects of today's society and uh, product managers nowadays they are touching all these aspects of society as society gets digitized all over the place, right? So from education all the way to the health uh, tech space and fintech and so on. So uh, one of the things that we have seen here in Portugal and also across Europe is that lots of product management positions are not being properly um, addressed by supply from the market. So we don't have formal uh, product management education or very little. Um, and usually when you have those product management education, they happen at a stage where it, it's usually um, a post university level. So uh, what we are also seeing, Elena, is that we have lots of people uh, like you that are just, you know, finalizing their masters or their um, or their university, and they want to get into product, but instead of going through the pain of doing, you know, five years of internships and then marketing jobs and then business jobs and eventually get to a product position, they could just keep that um, and 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 have some uh, what we believe uh, a good training. So they 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 have a fast track into the product product management career. Mm, nice, yeah. thank you. And Hannah, going back to you, uh, how do you see this partnership being successful in the future? I hope that in a couple of years we'll uh, we'll be training maybe dozens, maybe hundreds of product managers across Europe. I think there is definitely some space in this uh, educational part on uh, this particular. Uh, uh, skill set and um, and in particular in Europe I, th I think we, we have something to develop a particular approach maybe um, to to teach in this position and indeed I believe that our um, educational approach is particularly suited for for training product managers because we are um, uh, specializing on uh, on uh, reskilling or on, on people who come from from different backgrounds, who bring these those different previous backgrounds into their new job, and I think this is particularly relevant for product management. Okay, thank you very much for your answer. So yeah, totally agree. Yes. Yeah, I, I mean exactly. People coming into product, uh, we we have uh, this this podcast series, as you know, but also product. And we have been interviewing uh, lots of people, including uh, Mihaela. Um, and um, people come from very different backgrounds, right? We have people coming from business. We have people coming from marketing and, of course, tech, but not only there. So um, that's, that's actually what makes the, the profession so appealing is that you, you don't have a, a, a single starting point. You can have so many mm -hmm. uh, starting points. It's very versatile. I think so, you have to, right? Yeah, you have to. 
Okay, well, uh, thank you very much, Anna, for this brief uh, discussion. And thank you, Andre. Thank you, Elena. And now um, we would like to conclude our, yeah, uh, like our to, day. We do. So let me just tell you guys that it was uh, an amazing uh, two days, actually. So this was pretty intense. We have to wrap this up because it's, uh, it's over and it's going to be over very, very soon. So it has been fantastic to be with you guys um, and the speakers, the, uh, the entire team here. Let me also thank my, uh, my team, the AV team. Uh, if you guys can just put on the presentation, that'll be awesome because I think I have prepared a couple of slides just to show you guys right now. So the AV team here, we, we have basically transformed our headquarters.